Hello all and welcome to Reaper TV. This is a tutorial video on how to catch Mew in Pokemon Yellow for the 3DS, the new download that's come out. Now I want to start off by saying that this is specific to Pokemon Yellow, a little bit of a backstory on why I did this video and, and why it's so poor quality. I'm not usually the type to post a tutorial video on how to do something. So uh, I'm actually recording this with a Logitech webcam, so I'm sorry for the poor quality of this, but do not let it deter you from the content of this. I will be attempting to retrieve my own uh, Mew in this using, using the usual glitch. Uh, I saw a need when I was... I, I didn't actually know about this glitch until last night when my brother and I figured this out, so I was... Lucky enough that I was early enough in the game to where I could still attempt it on this save of the game. So the reason I'm making this video is because all of the tutorial videos that I watched didn't give me enough detail on what I needed to do to lead up to actually going to try to catch Mew. I found myself entering Cerulean City very, uh, how to say, very scared to mess everything up. So I'm going to explain to you everything that I did leading into me getting into Cerulean City. You can see me out on the route right now. So when I got into Cerulean City, there are some things that you guys need to know that you can do and things that you need to know you can't do, or at least by my understanding from watching other videos. So first of all, I have gone into almost every single house and talked to almost everybody. So I've gone into the Pokemart, I've talked to people on the street. The one building that I do not believe I've been into yet is the gym. I have not walked into the gym yet, and as far as getting Mew early on in this game, uh, one of the ways to do it, you do need to keep from fighting the first person in the Cerulean City Gym. So I have not done that yet. I've gone just about everywhere else. Uh, one of the main questions that I had is one of the things that you need to catch Mew in this game is you need to have an Abra with Teleport. Now to be able to do that, you need to be able to get past the officer who is usually standing right in the place that it is right here in front of the door. And so, to be able to get her to move, you need to go up and you need to talk to Bill, or at least that's it by my understanding, and she moved once I had done that. So going up into this route, you will fight your rival, uh, and then following fighting your rival, you will fight these people on the bridge. So I fought all of these people who were on the bridge, uh, even this, uh, a person who previously was here, I have not, on the other hand, there's a person down this route who you need to not fight before you try to catch Mew. So make sure that you don't go down there. Uh, if you're playing one of the other versions, you need to go down there on the left side to be able to catch your Abra, but this is yellow specific and you cannot catch an Abra down on that route. So just avoid it for now. Don't even get close to it. Uh, I personally have not, I don't think I've talked to this person up here. I have grabbed the item that was up here. Uh, going over here, this is very, very important for trying to catch Mew. I have fought everybody, but I think two people here. It's very important that you do not encounter this trainer here who is looking to the north, who's right beside me. Uh, this, this is your only way to be able to catch Mew if you've already gone into the gym and fought the first person there. In, in this specific tutorial, there's a way to do it fighting this person, and there is a way to do it fighting the person in the gym. I specifically am going to show you how to do it fighting this person right here. So you can fight everyone else here. And in fact, I think for the most part you need to. I have not fought this person up here who's right next to me. I have though fought this person who is right here. After going in and talking to Bill and uh, fixing him, I headed down this route and found that the officer at the bottom of the route had in fact moved away from the front of the building allowing me to gain access to the building. I talked to the two people inside and outside of the back of the building, if you go out the hole that's in the back wall, there is a Team Rocket Grunt who you fight and after you fight you will be able to gain access to an area where you can, in yellow version, find an Abra and capture it. Now there are a few different ways in which you can make capturing Abra easier. I personally have a Butterfree with sleep power on it. A few people have gone to catch a Bellsprout and uh, have taught it a few moves to keep Abra from leaving combat. Uh, having a Butterfree with sleep powder on it was very very easy for me. It didn't cause me too much trouble. There was an encounter that I had early on that I messed up. But you will find Abra down this way, in the grass patches that are just north of where the Pokemon Daycare Center is. So, 
I currently, right now, that's basically where I left off. This is my party right now, and here is my Abra, and I have one space open so that when I capture Mew, Mew will be in my party. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start heading up here, up north. Uh, you want to make sure that you have some Pokeballs on you, because once you get this initiated, you don't want to stop. Now, this next part is a little bit tricky, and I'm, I'm going to try to do it right on the first try. But if not, I'll try to cut out some footage and try to get myself right back to the same spot that I was in. And you really don't want to mess this up. This is one of the very key parts of this entire process. So I'm heading up this way, past all the people that I fought on the bridge. Okay. Now, you're going to want to go like this. You're going to want to get right here. Do not move any farther because right when I move down, I will be taken into combat or I will be attempted to take it. To be taken into combat. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save right here. Okay. Now the trick to this spot is when you go down, there's going to be a person who shows up on screen who's going to try to fight you. You need to make sure that immediately when you hit the next square below you, right when that person sees you, you press the start button or you press the X button if you're using the, the 3DS controller. You can use either one. But you need to essentially, you need to stop them in the process. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try to do that. Once you stop them in the process, once you bring up the start menu, you're going to go to your Abra and you're going to use teleport and teleport will bring you to the last Pokemon Center that you went to. So you're also going to want to make sure that you've used the Pokemon Center here in Cerulean City and that it is the one that will default to. So let's go ahead and let's try this. Okay, I brought up the start menu. As a very brief side note, if when you step down, he managed to engage in combat with you before you could get your start menu open, simply exit out to the 3DS menu, close down the program, and then start it back up again from your last save. You should have saved beforehand before you had stepped down to engage in combat with him. So, uh, when this picks back up, it's going to be my second attempt, but starting from the same point, something happened that I will explain later on in this recording. Uh, something I messed up on, which I will make sure that you guys don't do the same thing that I did. So anyways, just follow it as if it was the first attempt, and I'll explain everything to you guys in a second. Okay, bye. All right, guys, we're back on track. Uh, I actually, I ended up messing up something uh, fairly recently because I forgot a part of the process. Uh, so I, I'm back at the point where I have just dropped down into this person's view, and I have opened up the start menu. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you what I did wrong here in a second that you guys need to remember not to make the same mistake that I did because it ended up messing this up and I have to go back to the save now. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to activate teleport. As another very brief side note, once you have teleported away from this person, many of the buttons on your controller will be locked and you will not be able to use them. One of the few things that you will be able to use is your D-pad. This is not a permanent effect and it will in fact be fixed once you have gone and engaged in combat with the next person. But once you go to engage in combat with, this, with the next person, who is the person on the way to Bill's house facing north, you need to make sure not to step directly in front of them. I will explain this in a second, but you must make sure that you are at least a couple steps away from him so that he has to move to get to you. So anyways, I'll see you in a second. And it's gonna bring me back to the Pokemon Center here in Cerulean City. You can see the exclamation point above the person's head means that they did try to engage me in combat. So, uh, I explained this last time, but I don't know if I'm going to keep that footage. Uh, it, it's at this point where this, uh, this strategy splits. If you have not fought the trainer, the, the first swimmer trainer in the Cerulean City Gym, then you can go ahead and you can do that if you want to. But I'm not going to show that part of the process. Uh, I'm going to show this going up here and fighting the trainer on the route up here on the way to Bill's house. So the mistake that I made earlier, I, I want you guys to know, do not, you cannot press any buttons or I'm not certain if you can't press any buttons. Try to only press your D-pad right now. I don't know what buttons work and I fear that pressing certain buttons will, might freeze your game. So be very, very careful. The situation that I ran into right here is that 
you cannot step directly in front of this character. Be very careful not to. I ended up doing that and his exclamation point appeared. He did not engage me in combat though and I became stuck because certain of my buttons are locked right now and they cannot be used. It's not until combat actually starts with him that I will actually be able to use these buttons. They will not have any permanent effect upon your game. Uh, once you do engage in combat with this person, it will fix everything. This process is supposed to have no uh, no harmful side effects to your game. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to step a few steps above him so that he will have to move to me. So that will get everything back up and running and your buttons should start working again directly after that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to step into combat. He sees me, he starts moving. And my A button works now. So, getting in combat, I should make pretty quick work of this guy. He only has one Pokemon, which makes it a little bit simpler than fighting the person who's in the gym, although his Slowpoke is pretty high leveled. I'm going to try to get this done real quick so that you guys can see the rest of this. So I'm going to Sleep Powder. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, I don't want to deal with this, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to switch to my, one of my tougher Pokemon. That and I want my Butterfree to be in good health when I go to fight Mew. Okay, we go ahead and we're going to Horn Attack him. Did a decent amount of damage. He's really taking chunks out of me. Okay. I should be able to take him out with this next move. Okay. I've now defeated him. Now before I do anything else after this battle, I am going to go ahead and I'm going to go back to my Abra and I'm going to use Teleport again. So, I've seen other people do it different ways, but if you're following this tutorial, please just do what I'm doing right now. I don't want you guys risking having something happen to your game. Now, I'm going to try to avoid this character's stare again. I guess that doesn't really matter. And I'm going to go back up to the Nugget Bridge. Once again, I'm only pressing the D-pad right now just because I don't want to mess anything up. And it should immediately bring up my start menu. I did not press the start button. It comes up on its own. And right when I get out of the start menu, it should start combat. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put a potion on some of the Pokemon. I want to be a little bit more healthy for this. And... I think that might as well be good. When you run into this Mew, it will be level 7. There are other ways to get it to be level 1 when you run into it, but I hear that also messes up its leveling, and I'd rather have this be natural. So, right when I jump out of combat here, Mew should be there, so here we go. This is pretty cool. There he is. Alright, let's get it on. <sighs> okay so I want to be very very careful with this uh, I'm not going to poison it I'm not going to use a normal attack on it right now right now I'm just going to put it to sleep and see if I can't just catch it like that so you guys might have your own strategy that you're going to use for this this is mine I don't know how long it's going to take but I just want to be really really careful with this Okay, Mew is still asleep. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to switch to something else and try to do some minor damage to it. Luckily I've got an Abra on me, but I'm pretty sure that this thing would make pretty quick work of him. So I'm going to switch to my Pikachu and I'm going to... Let's see. I'm going to paralyze it. Oh, didn't have any effect on him. 
Okay, never mind. Let's go ahead and let's do quick attack. I know that that doesn't do a whole lot of damage, or at least hopefully won't. Well, that's a close one. I don't want to get too many of those critical hits. And Mew's still asleep, so I feel like this might be optimal time right now to be able to try to get that. Now, Mew's still asleep. I don't have too many Pokeballs on me, so I really got to be careful with this whole thing. Hey, I got it! Would you look at that? Okay, guys, only half health. I got pretty lucky with that right there. So, it's going to take me out of combat now. When viewed through a microscope, this Pokemon's short, fine, delicate hair can be seen. Do you want to give it a nickname? I, I personally am more of one to not give Pokemon nicknames, so I'll leave that to you guys when you reach this point. So, all of my D-pad works. Opening up the start menu is fine. Uh, I can go and I can talk to other trainers still. So it doesn't seem to be any, be any adverse effects on my game and going in and looking at the Pokemon in my group. Here is Mew. There it is. It, it's pretty neat having watched other tutorials and, and finally getting this figured out for myself and actually being able to see the results now. So. I hope for any of you out there who are a little bit confused about this process and worried about doing it right that this was very helpful for you. Uh, really, you guys just have to keep away from the, uh, the Cerulean City Gym if at all possible. If you have done that, there are other tutorials I've seen of people doing it later in the game, but it still involves you. It still involves you not having fought that one trainer on the way to Bill's house. So you got to be really careful with that and make sure that you're a few steps away when he does see you. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, I know this isn't my usual video for those of you who have just come to this channel watching this tutorial. I do Let's Plays and uh, if you guys take a look at those, hopefully you'll find some amusement in that. But thank you guys so much. It's getting late, so I'm going to go ahead and head off and you guys have a great day and I'll see you later. Bye.